Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day. So I wanted to come with you with to you with some swapping information. <coughs> if you're interested, this is the email. Um Lori's DIYing Life at Gmail dot com. It's L O R I S D I Y I N G L I F E at gmail.com. Lori's DIYing life at gmail.com. And I will put it in the description box. I'll leave that there while we discuss everything. Okay. If you are interested in participating in the swap, I need you to email me by July 14th. And then I will email back by the 16th. Um... I need to have at least two people sign up. That way there's three of us and we can interchange. <coughs> I don't think that'll be a problem, but just so you know. Um, so I'll email back by the 16th with the rules and um, they're basically going to be the same thing I'm telling you right now. But it'll be <coughs> something you can look at. I want the swaps emailed by September 13th. I'm not emailed. I want the swaps mailed by September 13th. So that gives you a month, basically. And I don't think you'll need a month, but I like to make sure everybody has plenty of time. I don't want people to feel rushed or anything like that. I know some people work. And I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I was working, I get off of work, I don't feel like doing nothing. You know, so weekends and maybe once in a while when I got home, if I had a nice easy day or whatever, I could craft when I got home. But sometimes it was just like, okay, home, dinner, everything ready for work tomorrow. That's it. Veg in front of TV or whatever. But of course, I worked with kids, so that was a little different. I need the swaps mailed by September 13th, and then we should be able to do the reveals by September 20th. That's seven days, that's a week. Just because some take longer, and I want to make sure that everybody has a chance to get here. Okay, so the actual swap itself, the theme is fall. Whatever fall you want it to be, you want it to be pumpkins, you want it to be leaves, whatever fall means to you, fall harvest, um, you know, leaves changing, back to school, you know, whatever, whatever fall, I don't really want to give ideas, I mean, we all know things that stand for fall, but for some people, there's fall sports, um, and some people just have great ideas that I never think of, and I don't want you to feel like you have to stick within certain perimeters, so just whatever, or fall. Okay, we're going to do two swaps each, and they're going to be five by seven in a box. We're going to make a box here. Um... And they each need to include four backgrounds, four backgrounds, four background pages, four die cuts, two that are layered, four sentiments, just, you know, whatever. It could be birthday, it could be whatever, but, you know, maybe fall colors or, you know, something to go with what you're sending. I'm not... I'm not especially picky. I'm not going to judge anybody. So four sentiments. Two dimensionals. Bows. Flowers. Um, what are these called? <laughs> I, I've been trying all day to remember what these are called. <laughs> and I just cannot think of, even still, I've got it in my hand. But I still cannot think of what these are called. 
and I know that I know it. It could be, I don't know, some people sent different items in the last one, which amazed me. Um, the little bow ties I did um, on the last one. Um, you just dimensional, decorative, you know, but in a fall theme. And then one extra item. The extra item could be, um, little gems, um, sequins, ribbon, glitter as long as it's sealed in tight beads, charms, just an extra item, fall theme. And then, of course, I couldn't remember if it was 1040 for the postage or 1060. So I put 1040 for the postage. I forgot to bring one of those envelopes. Uh, and I don't have one sitting in here. So... It's the padded envelope that we'll be using, and I'm going to have to have one to make sure the boxes fit. So, I'll be right back. All right. So, this is the padded fly rate envelope, and these are used, but we will still be able to use them to make sure... The two boxes are going to fit. <clears throat> I want to make sure we have plenty of room. I don't want feel, anybody to feel like they need to really squeeze everything in. So, um, but yes, the padded flat rate. I can't remember how much it was, and I didn't check. And I'm out. I'm going to have to order them. I just go online to the East Post Office shop. You look until you find the, the padded fly rate envelope and order them and they'll deliver it right to your house. So that's what I do. I can't believe I don't have any right now. So I want the them to be 5x7 and I want to actually do a box. And if you have a better way to do a box, please do. Do your box your your way, but I'm going to do one just to show you. So here's my center point, and I'm going to go one, two, and a half on each side, which is going to give me the five, right? I'm going to go another eighth of an inch on both sides. Just to make sure that I have plenty of room plenty of room for um five by seven to fit. If you make it exactly five by seven or you only go the one eighth of an inch, that's fine. Um Cut your stuff down a little tiny bit, and that's fine. Okay, now, so I made, you know, the score lines on both those. And then the next one is seven. So here's my six, which is the middle, right? Now seven divided by two is three and a half. So one, I guess you can do each one. One, two, three and a half, and then over an eighth. That's going to be my other line. Okay, so one, two, three, and a half, and then the eighth. That's my line. It's that simple. Okay, we want them to be an inch deep. So I'm going to put this on the two mark and 
I'm gonna go along the inch. Is it an inch that we want? Yeah, I think everything will fit in an inch. I'm wondering if we should go a little bit bigger, like inch and a quarter. Yeah, we could do inch and a quarter. Let's try that. So that means all the way around now, I got to do an inch and a quarter. So at the two mark, I'm going to go to the one and the quarter. And I'm going to keep doing that. The two mark. And then go to the one and a quarter. Go to the two mark. I mean, you can do it from any one. You just go in an inch and a quarter. This is just easier because it's got this little thing right here that kind of lets me know that's that quarter mark. Then, okay, let me think. Because this has been a while. We've got to do our tabs. So, I'm going to come in. Okay, I'm going to come in. Right now, I'm just ignoring this piece here. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Always try to keep your tabs in the same. Well, I guess you can rotate them, but if you do, you, you know, let's do that, I guess. Go rotate. I'm just cutting in using this inside line here. That's going to there. So basically, you're looking at the inside box, and from the corners, you're doing that score line out. Don't do both. Just do one. I could be changing that in a minute, but right now, usually, I'll figure it out a little bit. But right now, I'm just kind of going by... Whatever, go just going. Okay, so here's my plan. My plan is that I'm gonna fold this and have a double sided box. That way, so what I need to do is go. An inch and a quarter from my line. I need to put my score line. I should have done this before. An inch and a quarter. You don't even have to go all the way down. Let's just go an inch and an eighth. And that'll leave it a little bit. A little bit shorter so that we don't have to worry about hitting the bottom if we trim it too big or whatever. Inch and an eighth. I'm going to go ahead and cut it now. Take this score line at an inch and an eighth. Did I do that right or did I do that short? <sighs> I'm right now just, I can't think. Oh no, that was the wrong line. That one's not right, that one. That one I need at the inch and an eighth. So you can see that's not gonna really. Uh, and paper got stuck in there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come back and trim this and knead it up. 
Mm. And, uh, see, when you get these, that'll mess it up too. If you have stuff in the channel, that can mess your cuts up. Try not to have stuff in your channel. I gotta try to figure out how to get it out of there. There we go. Okay, the last score line. Yeah, an inch and an eight. And that's gonna give me my fold over. Inch and an eight. I don't know. Usually, like I said, it's usually I'm better prepared and I got it set in my mind. And this time, I have not done that. Okay, so we need to... This is going to be... I'm going to think now my mind. I ruined my mind now. So these will go in and this will fold over, right? And that's going to be inside the box. So this part here now, maybe this is good. You see how my mind works and you'll go, no wonder she messes up all the time. Look at how her mind works, <laughs> right? So we're going to snip that off because that needs to fold in here nice and cleanly. And we're going to do that with all of these. So this one, I'm going to do that too. This one. I'm going to do that too. And this one, I'm going to do that too. So, here's how I work this. Let's see if I do this right. It's been so long. Okay, so this comes up. Right, all of these come up. This goes in here, and I'm going to glue it. So I'm going to get the glue. You can get these off if you want. It doesn't have to be that long. If I can leave it there, I like to leave it there for extra strength. So you can cut it down so that you don't have to worry about it. All right? Stick some glue on. Let me make sure you're seeing this. Are you seeing it? I had to adjust where my phone is because the thing that holds my phone fell. So now, okay. So that'll go there and you hold it if you need to or whatever, right? Just hold it. I'll take a little bit off this one. I'm not wanting to take it off the bottom because to me the bottom helps me line everything up. And I'm going to put some glue on here. I'm hoping you can see that. Now this paper that I'm using, because I had to do 12 by 12 paper for my box, but I wanted to keep it kind of a fall color, which to me fell down to the orange. Um, it's not real sturdy cardstock. So even though I'm showing you in this, my boxes might actually end up different. I've got to go see maybe at Joann's or something. Uh, 
I cut the wrong one off. Oh, I did. I cut the wrong one off, huh? No. Wait. Yep. So I still got the piece there, though. So I'm just gonna cut it here. But I did cut the wrong one off. I cut it along here, so watch that stuff. See what I did? It's still okay. It's just got a smaller tab now. But you're not even gonna see it because I'm gonna fold over my tops. Okay. Trim the top. And like I said, I like to keep the bottoms if I can. They help me line it up straighter. I feel like they do anyways. Maybe not, but that's how it feels to me. So I'm gonna take this one and put glue in there. Okay. And get the glue. I'm gonna trim this where I cut it bad. Just to get it smoothed out. Now, this all will fold down. It'll cover up our tabs. Keep them in there. Add some strength. See, I'm just folding it right now just to show y'all. Because usually when I fold it, I glue it before I put it down. But in there will be our box. Now, this one's a little bit... So it feels a little tight, snug, big. I just take and snip that edge. So, and you can go through and do that on all your edges if you want, if you feel like. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because a lot of people just do have problems and this is one of the secrets to making better boxes too is just kind of angling that out I'm trying to do them very small but you know you can do whatever size however you want but it does help It really does help. It makes a difference to the box. I don't know why I decided to do a box. I thought, my thought is that we can really decorate up our boxes however we want, right? So, with those edges cut, you're not going to have any problems with it a fitting. And if you've had all your score lines done ahead of time, they'll all, you'll know they all met up in the corners, so you'll have all the same size walls. And I'm just going to glue them down, and gluing them down is going to cover the tabs and double my wall right thickness so a little bit more protection for shipping and all of that and then and it's also a neater look it gives a more finished look um, for the longest time I was watching all the crafting shows and stuff and nobody ever said anything about folding that wall over. And sometimes if your paper's not big enough, you can't because you don't have a big enough piece of paper if you need a bigger box. But 
it never, never occurred to me to do this. And I think the first time I seen it, I was like, whoa, why isn't everybody doing this? It just makes such a cleaner looking box. It really does. Just to fold it. You know, when you make your own box, that edge of that paper here on the sides, it's just, you know, kind of what it is. So, anyways. So, now the thing with the lid. The lid is needs to be a little bit bigger than the bottom, right? Because it needs to fit over the top. And so what I like to do, and let me just show you that the box should be five and a half by seven and a half, right? Because I put a quarter inch on each side. So there is five, not quite a half, right? Not quite a half by seven in just not quite a half, right? So, the way I'm going to do that is that little bit of space that was left, if it came, if my box was five by seven exactly, I would make my lid the one-eighth, just so the lid fits over this. Because if they're exactly the same size, they're going to butt up against each other. You need that lid to be just the tiniest bit bigger. So, I said it needs to be five and a half. That's where I was. So, it's 12, right? And I need one, two, and a half, two and a quarter, right? Two and three quarters. So, six, one, two, and then one, two, three quarters. This way. Six, one, two, and one, two, three quarters this way. Hope I did that right. One, two, three quarters. Okay. So that's the five and a half. Then I need the seven and a half. So here's my six. So seven is three and a half each way, and then and a half. So I need that to be at the quarter. One, two, three, and a quarter. Wait, nope. No, I'm doing that. Three and a half, three and three quarters. I got an extra line again. One, two, three, and three quarters. Okay, there it is. And then I need the one inch, right? So I need to come here to the one inch. Now the lid does not have to come all the way down on the box. My box is an inch and a quarter. So I can make it an inch and a quarter or I can make it an inch or I can make it half an inch, however, you know, however you want it. I'm going for the inch because I want the most protection for my box, but I also like there to be a little bit of lip. So I'm doing the one inch all the way around from my score line. 
the Winnich. Okay. And I'm just going to do that with all of these. And do the one inch. And do the one inch score. Now, do I want to fold over my lid? I do. So I'm going to go here, but I don't want it all the way to the bottom. So I'm just going to line it up with this and trim it. All the way around. Line in that score mark up there. And what that is basically is giving me three quarters of an inch. So, I mean, your yours is probably not the same as mine, but that's basically giving me three quarters of an inch to fold over. Okay, three quarters of an inch. All right. So I'm going to cut here. And cut this off. I'm going to go ahead and do it both so I don't... Do them both so I don't mess it up. Like last time. And I'm going to do this one. Here. And cut this one off. Because this is the one that's going to fold over. And actually, this one needs to come off also. So, you only want the tab left. So, that needs to come off. This. I'm like, that doesn't look right. No, it doesn't look right. Okay, that's okay. Okay. I'm confusing myself. See how my brain works. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Cut that off. Because that's just folding over. And then here. Cut that off. Wait, wait. Cut this off. <laughs> I'll get folded. What did I do here? Oh, this piece. Of, see, I cut the wrong one off. Even after all that, I cut it off the wrong one. Did I still cut the wrong one? Yes. Somehow, what have I done? That's too big. So what have I done? Let's see. 
Yeah, my seven is there. So, I've messed this side up. That's my seven. I didn't line that up with there, I lined that up with this. And so that's put me off. I'm telling you, man, I just, <laughs> oh, this is the way it works for me though. So I need to go from that line and I'm gonna put it up on the, one inch mark and it's one inch so from this line here at the one inch mark I need to score this is probably going to have to fit so Here's the one inch mark. So this needs to be cut down. I'm just gonna cut it to where it'll fold over nicely. Okay, that's perfect actually. Um, so what did I do here? I need this off. And this one's not affected because it went off of that. So, now I can do my box lid. Oh, did that measure five by seven exactly? Maybe I didn't need this one. No. Five and a half by Seven. So I did need that one. Shoot. I'm going to do it over. Because <laughs> I lost myself. And sometimes it's better just do it over. Okay, so I want my box five and a half by seven and a half. So six is my what I do with my score. I just had it. There it is. There's a score on here, but I never used it. Let's see. Okay. So six. So I want five and a half. So three and a half. No, two and a half is five. And then a quarter, two quarters will make the half. So two and a half and then another quarter. So two and three quarters is where I need my line to be. One, two, three. And then one, two and three quarters. That's my five inches. Now I need my seven inches. So to get seven, divide by two. My middle is six because of 12, right? Half of 12 is six. So to get seven divided by two, that's three and a half. But then we also gotta add that extra quarter on each side to make the other half. <laughs> so that we have seven and a half. Probably makes no sense. And I mean, it's ridiculous the way I'm saying this, but so three and three quarters plus three and three quarters is six and six quarters, which is seven and a half. That makes sense. So one, 
two, three, and one, two, three quarters. I could have never been a math teacher because I could have never explained it. One, two, three, and three quarters. I could have never explained it. And nobody would have ever understood. So I'm going to go an inch. So, just to make it a little easier on myself this time, I'm not moving it. I want to go three quarters, so I'm going to go to the half, to the half. And that's going to be one, two, three quarters if I go to the half. Okay, here, one, two, three quarters is the half. And do the same thing. Okay, one, two, three quarters. My line is here. One, two, three quarters. Now, for my lip. So my little lip. I'm just coming to I'm going to go to the half, half an inch, little turnover, half inch. It'll just make it easier for everybody's measuring. Yours does not have to be exactly like mine. If you have another way you like to do it, do it. Don't worry about it. just needs to be a 5 by 7 box with a lid. I want lids on them. And I want them decorated. I want them to look really nice. Just... So, I just feel like if we decorate it, and the prettier it is on the outside, the more we appreciate getting it. Sometimes that makes it matter less what's on the inside, <laughs> if it's pretty enough on the outside. So, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to cut that off. Okay. I'm going to do this. And cut this off, right? Yep. This is where I'm going to end up confusing myself again. I'm going to do this here. And cut this off. I'm going to do this one here. Just leaving the tab to glue the box together, but this part here cannot be in that tab. And you can even cut that down, right? Like we did before. Mm, not the bottom. You can if you want to. I just like to leave my bottom intact. To me, it helps me line it up okay so fold it fold it fold it fold it these are all gonna go in here that does not match up all the rest of them do this one doesn't. So what is the size of the box and where did I mess up?
three quarters. So what did I do in this one? A whole inch. So it should be here. Three quarters. Trim a little bit off. I'm just gonna try to catch up with this now. See if it's right. And then these are gonna fold. And these are gonna fold. And that one works. Get making get nervous now. <laughs> Those fold over, this goes in, and this folds over, and this goes in, and that will fold over. It might still be a little bit bigger. Nope. So there we go. So that's how that's going to work. So I'm going to... Come in and I'm gonna notch these. And I am doing this kind of rushing, so Russian. Rushing. So if you're taking your time, more than likely it's gonna be a little bit neater. And look a little bit better than this. Oh, how long have I been doing this? 47 minutes, but I'm almost done. Shouldn't have taken this long. But I had to redo this lid. I just like a little bit of lip, like I said. I like, I want it to go most of the way down to protect it. But I like that little bit of lip so that it's easier to get off. So I don't like my lid to be quite as deep. I don't like it to go all the way down. Uh-oh. Put that on the wrong side. It's going to be all right because this is going to come down on it anyways. Right where it's folded, that's going to come and fold over on it. So we won't have sticky there in the end. Huh, my neighbor didn't get a package this time. <laughs> I just looked and seen one of my other neighbors is out there doing something and I thought, oh, she didn't get a package. Watch them pull up now after I said that. FedEx or Amazon or somebody will pull up. It seems like it never fails. You know, I, I where I sit during the day mostly, is at the back of the house so that's the only reason it cracks me up because you know you notice that stuff if you're sitting look you know you got your front window and your TV's in the room or whatever and you're looking out that window all day you know you expect to see that kind of stuff and notice things like that but the only time I'm ever looking out the front here is when I'm doing my crafting at my craft desk. So, 
That's why it cracks me up that every time I'm out here, not out here, but every time I'm here doing a video, she gets a delivery. I think that's really something, but um, I mean, I don't know. She might have some kind of business or something in her home. I don't know that they're always delivering. They could be picking up too, right? So, um, but I just laugh at it because, like I said, the only times I'm here looking at this window is when I'm crafting. So, to notice that, now I can't say every time, but <laughs> a lot of times when I'm here crafting, and doing a video, she gets a delivery. <laughs> so, and I know her a little bit. We've talked and stuff, but it's funny, she's a nice lady. Well, they're a nice couple. She loves the dog. <laughs> she loves the Sandy dog. We were going someplace and, and she asked who was watching the dog and we said, oh, we're taking her. And, uh, oh, I can watch her for you. No, no, we're taking her. loves the dog. That's sweet. I like when people are like that, you know, being so helpful and stuff that way. Offering to do nice things. You know, we all like nice people, right? Now let's see how this is going to fit together. Since I seem to have messed up so bad. Okay. Plenty of room for the lid. Just really an eighth of an inch is all you need. This might be more than a little than an eighth of an inch. And you know you can tell that it's a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. But it is what it is, and now we can decorate the box any way we want, and that is our box. But the other thing we have to do is make sure, because it sure would be a shame that we can't get two of them in. So, one... Yeah, I think we'll be able to get two of them in. Pretty simple. So, and like I said, mine is a little bit bigger on top than it needs to be, but I think, let me kind of hold that there. Mm. Okay. So, I'm going to have to make another one to see if they will both fit in because I did make mine a little wider than I should have. If they don't seem like they're going to fit, it definitely fits height wise. But if it doesn't look like it's going to fit, then I'll come back and do 
another video giving new new sizes so anyways so if you're interested in joining the swap email me and let me know so I know that I'm going to have the participation it's Lori's DIY life at gmail.com L-O-R-I-S D-I-Y I-N-G L-I-F-E at gmail.com Alright everybody Thank you for joining me If you like my videos Please hit the like and subscribe button Please join me again And God bless y'all Bye bye